Hello friends, today we will see how to model a G plus 5 structure. G plus 5 structure using run structure wizard. Go to the geometry, run structure wizard and we are having the prototype models and few are the saved models which already you have done means it will be available in the saved user models go to the prototype models there are seven kinds of the models in the prototype and let us go with the frame models in the frame models there are once again the seven models seven frame different uh, frame models available let us go to the break frame and let us give the dimension of the entire structure length as 15 meters height as 15 meters and width as 20 meters then length along with the base uh, uh, length uh, how many base along the length let us take as a 4 height as a 5 g plus 5 so g plus 5 will have the 5. Let us give the height as 18 and number of floors will be 6. So, we will have G plus 5 means 6. And along the length we will have a 5. And if you want to change the dimensions of differently, if at all you need, you click here and change the dimensions. For the present time, I am keeping as it is. The apply. And this is the model we are going to get. But the, from this window, the structure window, the wizard structure window, we have to take to the stat pro model. So go to the file, merge the model with the stat pro model. Yes, from the 002. Okay, okay. let us close the stat. Then let us go to the geometry. And go to the general, let us give the properties and define the properties. Take the rectangular for the 3.5 is the depth and width is 0.35 for the column add and for the beam let us take. Depth of the beam is 0.45 and width is 0.3 and, and close. Right. Then let us assign the, the dimensions to the different beams on the column. This is for the columns. And select this dimension. Go to the select beams parallel to the Y. All the columns are going to get selected. Assign to the selected beams. Assign. Yes. Then this is for the all the beams. Go to the select. Beams parallel to the X. All the beams parallel to the X are selected. And go to the once again select. Beams parallel to the Z. So all the beams are got selected. Let us assign to the selected beams. Assign. Yes. Now, the geometry of the columns and the beams were given. Now, we need to give the supports. Go to the support page. And first, we are supposed to create the supports. Go to the fixed. Add it. And select the support. And go to the Different direction XY plane and select the nodes. Let us check in the isometric node view. All the nodes are get selected and one more extra node is here. Let us see that. Assign to the all the nodes. Yes. Close this. And one 
extra node is there. Let us go to the geometry. This extra node is there. I think so. Otherwise, let us go here and this we have to select. Let us take the node cursor, select this node and delete it. Delete. Yes. Now go to the isometric tool. Yes, there is no extra nodes here. Right. Then let us give the nodes to this. Go to the general nodes and definitions. And here load case details. Add. And here we are supposed to give the dead loads. Dead load. Dead load. So, second type is nothing but the live loads. Select the dead load and dead load and it is a self weight. It is going to act in the y direction as it is going to act downward. The minus so sign is given and it. And then all the beams are going to have the wall loads. Wall loads comes as a member load. Let us go to the member load. It is entire throughout the beam. So that let us select uniform force. Maybe it is going to be of uh, some minus 15 kilo newton per meter. It's going to act in the global y direction and add it. And coming to the live load, the floor loads, and in the dead load, we have to give the floor loads also. Add it and come to the floor loads. That is going to be the Y range, the global Y, and it's going to be of minus 4.5 as per the code. So the height is 18, and the dimension of the X is 15 and Z is 20. Okay. And close. This is already given. Right. Then we have to give the live load. Select the live load. Add. And floor load. Select the floor load with the Y range. It's as per the code 2 kN per meter square. It is acting on the downward, so minus 2 kN. As usual, same. Total height of the structure 80. Width is going to be a 15. And in the z direction is 20. Okay, add close. And let us select this as it is close. And then the self weight is to the entire, each and every element is going to possess the uh, weight so that let us give to the entire view assigned to the view assigned yes it is assigned this is only on the beams so select the uniformly loaded force go to select go to the select beams parallel to x and beams parallel to z all the beams were selected. Then assign to the selected beams. Yes, assign to the selected. Yes. Now the loads were given. Let us give the load combinations. Go to the load case details. Add. And let us give the auto load combinations. Then as per the Indian code generate the loads. So, four different loads are generated and close. Then, let us analyze the structure. Analyze. We need all. Add it. Close. Perform the analysis and bring all. 
let us run the program run the analysis yes yes zero errors zero warnings one notice that is about the floors zero output because we have not mentioned about the what kind of the one way slab or two way slabs that is what the notice notice given you can at this stage you can neglect that let us close this. Thank you friends. If you want to design, let us go to the design also. In the next, the design of this particular G plus 5 will go to the, in the next video. Thank you. Let us close it.